Hi guys, it's Mac Million with In the Dark Room with Mac Photos. Thanks for stopping by and joining me for today's episode where today I'm going to be sharing with you some color adjustment techniques that you can do in either Capture One or Lightroom. They're subtle color adjustment techniques that will surely bring that clean, crisp, vibrant look to your images. So let's hop on over to the other side and take a look. So today we are actually going to be working over in Capture One. We are going to basically be looking at uh, making color adjustments to our images. The techniques uh, that I will show you here in Capture One, you will be able to accomplish as well if you're a Lightroom user. So the main thing with today's uh, tutorial is to really grasp the concepts of what we'll, we'll be doing as far as making color adjustments. So starting off, we have an image that I have basically duplicated. The image on the left is the original. The only thing I've done with this uh, image is I've gone into Photoshop, uh, used the spot healing tool, to remove some little uh, moles or blemishes on the model. I've created a duplicate copy of the image on the left here. So we'll be making our adjustments to the image on the right. That way we will have a comparison. We will have the before and after. Oftentimes we get so involved with more complex editing components as far as skin retouching and so forth. In my opinion, learning uh, color adjustments are really going to be key here and, and really make a difference as far as your images standing out, being bright, vibrant. And there are many ways that um, you can choose to stylize an image. But for everyone, I think it's really good to understand establishing a a base for your colors and working from there. First and foremost, uh, you will definitely want to ensure that your your white balance is correct. Um, how do I gauge my white balance? I'm often gauging by skin tones. I want to ensure that my skin tones are looking uh, natural. Okay, so this image, uh, as is, it's a great image, but if we make some subtle color adjustments here, we can make this image maybe stand out a little more. It will pop a little more, be a little more crisp, a little more vibrant, and bring more focus to our subject here. So what we'll do, I'll be using the color editor here in Capture One. I'm going to get to the advanced module here and use my... Uh, color picker tool here. I'm going to start with the blue water here of the pool. I'm going to increase the saturation, really make that a little more blue. I'm going to take the lightness, which basically adjusts the exposure of that particular color. I can choose to lighten that blue or darken that blue. So I'm going to choose to darken that blue. I'm going to take the same here as far as the green that we have in the in the leaves and foliage in the background. I'm going to saturate that just a touch. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to uh, darken that down just a touch. Okay. So we've made some adjustments here to the blue and the greens, which are the primary colors in our background here. Now I'm going to go over to the skin tone. Um, a color picker tool. I really like this function. Within Capture One, it tends to separate uh, the basic colors somewhat from uh, those skin tone colors. So I really like this option here in Capture One. We're going to select 
the skin tone of our model here. I can tell that the model has gotten a bit saturated, particularly in the red skin tones here. So we're going to begin to uh, desaturate that just a bit. And to correct red in the skin, what we would want to do is push more green. Uh, one of the things, uh, options we have here is the hue for the color that we're working with. Depending on uh, where I want the skin tones to move, if I want it more red, I would go to the left. As you can see, it pushes more red into the skin. If I go to the right, this begins to push more green into the skin. So we will go back to our base and we're going to begin to um, push a little more green to balance out the red. And another thing that we can do here, um, if you've ever noticed while you're editing photos, if you darken something, it is going to saturate it more. If you begin to lighten an aspect in your image, it begins to desaturate your colors. So what we're going to do with uh, our lightness or exposure for this particular color is uh, we're going to increase the lightness. As we do that, it begins to lighten those color tones that we've selected. It brings a little more vibrance to the skin and really kind of balances things out there. Okay. Okay, and one of the last things that we'll do here is we're going to add a bit of a vignette, uh, which is just going to darken our edges just a touch. There again, bringing more focus and attention to our subject. And I'm gonna add a bit of, just sharpen the image up just a touch there. And now what we will do, we'll see our before and after images here. Uh, as you can see, very subtle differences here uh, between the images. But if we take a look at the image on the right, you know, our colors are more saturated. Uh, the, the image looks a little more crisp. There's a little more depth and dimension with the adjustments that we've made to the colors here. And one last thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to saturate this image a little more. Now I might have to go back and make some adjustment to my skin tones because as I adjust the saturation to the overall image, it will affect the skin tone as well as those background colors. And I'm going to make a slight adjustment to the contrast there. And we'll go back over to the color editor to our skin tones to desaturate that area of the skin here. And ensure that uh, our skin tones looking natural and very neutral. Okay. So there we go. As we take a look here. Uh, this is our beginning image and the final image there. That's what we begin with and our final image. Well, I hope that this has been beneficial and until the next time, I'll see you on the other side. Well, as usual, I hope this episode has been beneficial and that you're able to add some additional tools to your arsenal of tools. Until the next time, get out there, get shooting and remember, make every shot count.